because you were so successful at an early age, was it hard for you to make a love connection with Doug? Because I would think most men would be intimidated by you. My husband, Doug, is one of the strongest, most self-actualized people, men I've known. You loved him right away? Or I was did. it a slow build? I did. I, Doug, so let me tell you about Doug. Doug grew up in Jersey. Oh. He worked for everything he had. He, we have a picture of him when he was employee of the month at McDonald's. And you were at McDonald's. I worked at McDonald's too. Yeah. But he worked for everything he had. And he has the best sense of humor. He's, he's really clear. He cares about family. He cares about working hard. Was he a lawyer? He, yeah. Yeah. He was a lawyer. He started his own law firm. Is that how you met? Because he would like, how do you meet him? So we met on a blind date. My oh. best friend set us up. That's how we met. Have you ever set anybody up on a blind date? I think it's the most dangerous thing you could do. It's kind of like roulette, right? Like yeah. it might hit, it may not. And, um, but look, I think that as people, you know, I mean, I'm at, on the campaign trail. I met at various things and people will come up to me. I know you met your husband on a blind date. You got anybody for me? <laughs> Well, you know, uh, <laughs> what he described was he was very nervous around you, left a rambling voicemail. Yes, he did. And he was sure that you were never going to see him again. And yet you uh, you hooked up. That was it. I feel very fortunate to have a husband who is um, so, he's just secure in his skin. He's not trying to be anything he's not. And, um, you know, he's an incredible father to the kids. He's just, he's an incredible son to my in-laws. Right. He's just good people. 